Welcome to our training station. This is where we will be conducting your 6G welding test for your ACME certification application. We're excited to have you test and we want you to do the best that you can. We allow you up to four hours with the required break after two hours and you must complete the test to pass. The purpose of this test is to qualify you for an ASME welder position by having you weld carbon steel pipe coupons. All the materials you need for this test have been given to you and shop PPE must be worn at all times until you step off the shop floor. These items include your hard hat, safety glasses, hearing protection, and safety shoes. During the test, we require that you wear FR rated gloves, FR rated sleeves, or a welding jacket, a welding hood, and a face shield if your welding hood does not have grindable. If there is a PP item that you don't have, we are happy to lend you what you need. Next, all flammable items must be removed more than 20 feet. If you have a special tool you like to use while welding, we are happy to let you use it once it has been inspected and concluded it is safe to use. Your safety is everyone's responsibility, including your own. So if you see something, say something. Let's get started. First, you will need to prepare each coupon by cleaning the weld surfaces. Once your weld surfaces are clean, use the angle bar jig to hold your coupons while you space them for fit up. Remember to refer to your drawing for the spacing requirements and your WPS form for weld machine settings. Once you are confident with the spacing between your coupons, go ahead and make three to four tack points that are evenly spaced from one another. When you finish, get with your contact and they will schedule an inspection. Once your fit up is inspected and approved, it's time to attach your coupon to the 45 degree jig. Feel free to adjust the jig in any manner that allows you to work comfortably. Once you have secured it to the 45 degree jig, proceed to lay your root pass. For this root pass, you will use the 6010 rod. Make sure to check for porosity and imperfections in your wells as you work. Once you are finished and you are happy with your results, get with your contact and they will schedule an inspection of your root pass with the quality department. Once your root pass is approved, move forward with laying your filler passes. For your filler wells, you will use a 7018 rod. Make sure to not exceed the half an inch wells and check your stops and starts as you go along. Once your filler wells have been made, go ahead and do your cover pass. When you're finished with your cover pass, the outer edges of the filler cap welds should exceed at least a quarter of an inch. Do not, do not grind your cap. The quality of your welds must be visible. However, you are permitted to clean small imperfections. Once you are finished, get with your contact and they will have you remove the pipe and clean the edges. Remember, the pipe coupon is hot, so continue to wear your welding gloves. While it's cooling down, you will be escorted to the shop lobby where you will await your interview with the production manager. During that time, we will retrieve your pipe coupon and send it to a third party for examination. Your pipe coupon must pass the NDE and radiography. These results can take up to three to five days. Once we receive your results, we will share them with you and discuss your future with the company. Now let's review some common mistakes. Each of the following are equally important mistakes that could cause applicants to fail or get injured. The first and most common mistake is not wearing the necessary PPE. Remember, shop PPE should always be worn while on the shop floor, and the specific PPE for the task you will be performing must be worn while performing that task. Another common mistake is putting the coupon over the pipe instead of attaching it to the pipe and then welding. Doing this, will result in welding the coupon to the pipe when laying your root and the filler passes. To avoid this, attach your coupon to the pipe like this. Another serious mistake that is easily overlooked is handling the material with no gloves. After welding, your coupon and jig will be warm. After cutting the material, it'll have sharp edges. It's important to use your FR rated and cut resistant gloves to handle your hot and sharp material. Next is not having enough lighting. Lighting is especially important to check your roof passes since it is inside the pipe. Lastly, not finishing the test will cause you to not pass, so time management is important. And that's it. We wish you the best of luck with your test and we look forward to receiving your results. 
go ahead and begin now. Good luck.